so welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm starting this video off with a wig tutorial because i just ordered this um it was an hd lace 13 by 6 wig off amazon under 200 dollars. so i'm gonna link it down below if y'all want to check it out i got 24 inches and it came with a little dust bag wig cap um some lashes and a little silk scarf thing that you lay your lace with. I start off by mixing my bleach together to bleach my knots. Um, I don't know what kind of bleach this is. I use Dirty Volume Developer. And I mix it up until I have like stiff peaks, like where it's not so runny because you don't want it to um, bleed through the lace and get on. The other side of the lace and then it's gonna bleach the hair you only want to touch the knots so make sure it's stiff to where it won't run let it sit on there for about 10 to 15 minutes just keep checking on it you can usually see from the other side if you flip it over you can see um, how much it's processing when you want to stop it so So now we at my favorite part. I love plucking. I didn't have to do too much plucking on this wig. Um, I'm using an arrogant taze um, plugging technique, but I don't use the white towel underneath. I like to put it on my thigh or my knee because that's my skin tone and I can see it better. Um, so I just go through and I pluck, just plucking back and forth, back and forth until I get the desired look. And then I take a few pieces from the front of the hair, just part it a little bit and plug behind that as well to give it like a more gradient effect, like a real natural hairline. Now what I'm doing is putting powder foundation on the wig cap. Don't put, or at least I don't put uh, liquid foundation or cream foundation because there's oil in those. So um, it's just not good when you wanna lay your wig because the oil will eventually cause your wig to start lifting earlier. If you want it to last, if you don't want it to last, that's on you. You know, do whatever you wanna do. 
but that's just what I like to do, so. First, when I went in with this, I used Got To Be because I planned on getting another wig soon and I kind of want to switch them out. But um, I changed my mind and I ended up putting Ghost Bond on my uh, on my hairline. Or not on my hairline. Do not put Ghost Bond on your hairline. Do not. Do not do that. Put it <laughs> above your hairline. Make sure you're not close to you know where your hairline starts or it will rip your edges out. So, um, yeah, I did go back in with the ghost bond, and fun fact, I don't let this dry. Like, I don't see the difference in when I let it dry and when I just put it on there while it's wet. I get the same outcome. If my shit wanna lift, it's just gonna start lifting. But I really don't get no lifting unless it's by like the ear tabs or, um, Whatever that shit called. What is that shit called? I don't know. I can't think of it right now. But that's the only part I get lifting at. The rest of the wig sits on for a while. Like, maybe if I take care of it, like, if I really, you know, am wrapping my hair at night and doing what I gotta do, it'll last me, like, two weeks. So, yeah, but I don't, I don't let it dry before, um laying it down because it also give me a little bit of leg room too like if i want to move it up move it back whatever i want to do so yeah i don't let that shit dry just put it on there and then i put my um i didn't i couldn't find my elastic band but i did up using the silk scarf thing and it got the job done and then i put a do-rag on top of that so yeah and with this wig i did have some problems like it was too big for my head and wigs that are too big for your head they start to wrinkle up like at the lace but i just fixed that by um taking the two clips in the back like the two elastic clips that you use in the back of the wig and i just tied them in a knot but don't tie it too tight because it'll give you a headache and that uh, essentially made the wig fit better on my head so yeah and then next what i'm doing is taking my uh mousse I don't know what kind of mousse it is. I know it's like blue, but uh, yeah. I just took my mousse and laid my baby hairs down and then I wrapped my hair again so it get like super melted. And that's it, that's all. It's like monitor a game and I know what monitor that game. I didn't even know what it was. I was in, uh, and it was true, but it was like hitting Oh, I'll wait my okay. Go on five to one eight after. Alright, cause we, we just left out, so what you want us to do? Denisha wanna check.
the same shit.